Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner. Welcome back to another episode of Broken Sword 2, The Smoking Mirror, and this guy has no legs. I only now realized it. So, let's speak with him. Hey there, no legged man. How's it going? Hi, I'm George Stobart. No response. What can you tell me about the mining company? The general closed down one of their mines after the explosion. Lots of folks lost their lives. I was lucky. I only lost my legs. You would have been luckier if you didn't lose any any of those legs and lived. Can you tell me anything about this stone? That's obsidian. It's a volcanic rock which has cooled so fast that... Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm not interested in geology. You're not? I suppose you want to know about the carved picture on it. That's right. Then the guy you should talk to is the professor. He was here a while ago. What professor, Rubier? Do you know what this statue represents? Should do. I used to carve things like that to sell to tourists. But it scared people around here, so I stopped. So it's only recently that they've been scared by it. Do you recognize the design on this label? Why, sure. That's the Condor Transglobal Shipping Company logo. Do they have an office in Cuaramonte? No, but they ship out from here. That's what I thought. Uh, maybe the statue is what um, is what they use to scare the locals into working for them or something. Did you see the ship with the condor flag? Mm, no. To keep them in but line? The dock is just the other side of the square. Might as well be the other side of the moon. Have you heard about the eclipse of the sun? Sure, I'm having a party to celebrate it. Drop by. Really? Sure. Plenty of food, plenty of wine, and everyone's invited. Except the general. What do you think of these panties? Awesome. You wear them? Uh, no, someone sent them to my girlfriend. Thoughtful. Indeed. Alright. Does this go to another area or is it just around... Oh, it's... Okay. Just takes me back here. Alright, not a new area. Okay, so there's less to explore than I thought. Hey there, goat. Nothing, huh? Now, I like most animals, but experience had made me wary of goats, and cats, and dogs. Yeah, there was a very crazy goat in the first game. Wasn't there. Would you like a worm? No. In Cuaramonte, defacing a poster was probably a capital offense. Interesting. It looked to me like an early portrait of Orson Welles. Maybe the way I can speak with Miguel in the prison is by getting arrested myself. Maybe. Hey, Nico. Or maybe it's just game over, since I'm... apparently we can die. We can lose the game. Yes? Hola, senora. Hi. We were wondering... I was talking to the lady, chico. Okay. Hi. My name is Nicole Collard. Concha Garcia. How can I help you, sister? The corporation I represent is considering a major investment in Cuaramonte. Your advice, as the head of an obviously successful concern, is precisely what I'm after. My assistant, Mr. Stobart, has a few questions he'd like to ask you. Have you heard of a man named Karzak? No, who is he? He's the reason we came to Cuaramonte. We think he's running a drug ring. Well, I hope you find him, but I've never heard the name before. I mean, 
why do we just bluntly ask these questions? Wouldn't it be safer to keep some information for us? Maybe lie a little bit once in a while, George, huh? Can you tell me about the accident at the mine? Accident? It was sabotage. Somebody wanted my mine closed down for good. Do you have any evidence that the mine was sabotaged? Not yet, but I'll get to the bottom of it. There'd been trouble at that mine for several months. The workforce was getting smaller every day. Someone had started a rumor among the men that the mine was cursed. Now the entire operation has been closed down. Where's the site of the mine? Several days upriver at a remote area known as Teokulkan. Would you like a dog biscuit? Would you like a smack in the mouth, Chico? Does this stone mean anything to you? I think it is a spirit stone carved by a Mayan priest, no? I don't know which of their many gods it represents. I am betting the dog biscuits will be something, or the panties will, will be something like the um, the hand buzzer from the first game, where it's only useful in a very specific situation. Can you tell me anything about this statue? It is Tezcatlipoca, the god of death and pestilence. That fetish would be considered by many to be a bad omen. Do you recognize the icon on this label? Condor Transglobal. Did the company operate here in Caramonte? Yes, they ran an old container ship, the Mayan Princess. Do you know who owned Condor Transglobal? I have no idea. You see this? It's my lucky piece of coal. What's so lucky about it? I'm not sure yet. Neither am I. Oh. Nice buns. Have you heard about the forthcoming eclipse? I don't take much interest in things like that. One of the boys might know about it. Would you be interested in these panties? They look about your size. Is that your best line, Chico? I'm serious. They were an unwanted gift. Put them away before you get overexcited. I guess we can speak with more people over here. What's in this cupboard? Keep out of there. That's where the explosives are stored. Ooh. Now I definitely do like me some explosives. Hi. Good afternoon, and welcome to Consolidated Mining. If you are planning to stay in Cuaramante City, may I recommend the Consolidated Mining Experience, an interactive hands-on tour of one of our deepest mines, with talking tour guides available in three different languages. A tour of a mine. Well, this is a mining company. What else did you expect? Do you know anything about the eclipse that's due soon? Me? No, senor. Do you know where I could find senor Karzak? No, senor. How come you're not wearing any pants? I feel more alert without them. A kind of perky. And your boss doesn't mind? She suggested it. Interesting. What about these guys? Hey there. Are you looking forward to the eclipse of the sun? Not especially. Are you? I don't know. I've never seen one. All I know about eclipses is that you shouldn't try to view them with the naked eye. Please. Go away and let me get on with my work. Ever heard of a guy called Karzak? Can't you see I'm busy? If I don't finish this stock report, the boss will be mad as hell. Fine. On to the next one. Did you know there's an eclipse of the sun in a few weeks' time? Yeah, Joe told me about it. He's having a party and we're all invited. Me and the boys are dressing up as evil monks. Yeah? Cool. Ever hear of a guy called Karzak? No, sir. Okay, last one. What do you know? 
Do you know anything about the eclipse? Yes, and I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I heard it's going to be pretty spectacular. It's in a few weeks' time, isn't it? Nine days. Thanks. Ever heard of a guy called Karzak? No. No one knows Karzak. Hey, Nico, could you distract this lady over here? Labano tells me he's been seeing a lot of you. We meet sometimes for lunch, a drink. After you'd gone back to the States, I was pretty lonely, you know. Lonely? You must have been desperate. Couldn't you just visit the zoo or something? Would you like a biscuit? Gourmet dog? Have you been eating those things, Georges? Sure, they're great. Guess what this is. Go on. Guess. It's wrought iron, probably from a chimney stack on an old stove. Uh, well, I suppose it could be. How did she know that? My grandfather used to work in a foundry. Take a look at this, Nico. That's disgusting, George. Why are you carrying it around with you? No idea. I don't know. I just can't seem to part with it. Take a look at this. An eclipse of the sun. Why the sudden interest in astronomy? I found the cutting in Ubier's house. Apparently, it's only visible from Central America. Take a look at this. Mon Dieu! Where did you get that kind of money? It's not mine. I found that statement at Ubier's house. Do you have any theories about this stone? I think that design represents a dog, a Mexican dog. So, this is the sacred Chihuahua stone? Sheesh. Okay, not a lot of help there, Nico. I had nothing else to talk about. Hey! I really want those explosives. Stay out of that cupboard. There was nothing else I wanted to talk to Nico about at that time. Maybe we need to wait for this guy to get up so the boss is distracted. I did not notice at all if she was. We'll come back. Nico's face really looks very weird in this game compared to the last one. Alright, let's go to the police. I have done just as I have been instructed, Professor. Professor? With the mine closed down, there'll be no one around to observe your excavation. I have visitors. Just remember what I told you, General. There's really no need to make a martyr out of that man. I don't think that was Zubie. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Senor. Welcome to Quarmonte. Thanks. My name's George Stobart from California. But what is this? An angel come down to Earth. Nicole Collard. Enchanté, mon général. Pardon me, senorita, but I couldn't help myself. Uh, look, we'd like to ask you a few questions. You've come to the right place, senor. Uh, tourist information. General Graciento, at your service. Wow, that's a lot of things to ask about. This is the tourist office? It says police on the sign outside. It is both, senor. I am a man of many parts. I can see that, general. Have you heard of a guy called Karzak? No. No, I never heard of him. Are you sure? I hear there was an accident at the mine a few months ago. That's correct. A lot of men killed, weren't there? 
A few. 30? <laughs> Barely 1% of the working population. Is it true there's a restriction on music in Quaramonte? Yes, there is. An emergency measure introduced by Nuestra Señora. Folk music is a link with the past for some of these people. Take away their musical roots and what do they got left? Easy listening. You think easy listening could replace a musical heritage hundreds of years old? Why not? It happened in your country. Are there any ruins around the city? Of course, Senor. Cuaramonte has everything. I have a friend who wants to visit an historical site. Ronaldo will only be too pleased to conduct a guided tour. When he's dealt with today's paperwork, of course. Who was the guy you were talking to when we arrived? Professor Ubier. Oh, so that's visitor, Ubier. Senor, like yourselves. Did you say Ubier? Si, senor. Professor Ubier. A French archaeologist. I thought it'd be younger. What's Ubier doing in Quaramonte? Researching our rich and glorious past, senor. The professor is planning an expedition to some Mayan ruins. He came to see me to get an excavation permit. We've had enough of Quaramonte and we want out. Am I stopping you? The guy at the docks tells me I need an exit visa. Ask Ronaldo. He'll make the arrangements. That's what he's here for. Would you like a biscuit? Are you trying to bribe me? Well, every man has his price. Mine is more than a dog cookie, Senor Stobart. Have you ever seen anything like this before? That's a native carving, isn't it? Where did you get it? We picked it up in the market, as a souvenir. What do you think of these panties, General? Oh boy, fabuloso! They're yours if you'll tell me all you know about Karzak. I told you, I never heard of the guy. Do I get the panties now? I told you all I know. You told me nothing. <laughs> Well, that was all he knows. Label. Si, senor. Condor Transglobal. Can you tell me where to find their offices? No, senor. I never heard of them, and neither did Ronaldo. The lady at the mining company told us a ship belonging to Condor was here recently. Conchita Garcia is crazy. If there had been a ship, do you think I wouldn't have noticed? Are you sure you never heard of Condor? Oh, yes. The company is registered here, in Quaramonte City. You are mistaken, senorita. The musicians out in the square say that a ship flying the Condor flag was birthed here. They are simple peasants. They will go along with anything you say in the hopes of parting you from your money. Condor is run by Karzak, isn't it? Wrong again, senor. Karzak has nothing to do with anything called Condor, whoever he is. Do you keep a record of companies registered in Quaramonte? Of course, senorita. Unfortunately, all the records were destroyed by a flash flood. Seems awfully convenient. Do you know anything about the forthcoming eclipse, General? Such things do not interest me, senor. I'll be back. Yes, we will. I had no need for junk mail, especially someone else's. A couple of special offer letters were strewn across the desk. There's a safe. A safe was tucked under the desk. It was a computer monitor with some kind of outdated game displayed on it. I didn't have time to get sidetracked by playing computer games. Yeah, computer games are silly. I decided to leave the television switched on. Let's go and speak with uh, Ronaldo. Oh, can I see this chart? Senor. Leave that chart alone. Hmm. Hey there, Ronaldo. Hi, I'm George Stobart. Hello, Senor. How can I help you? I'd like to visit your prisoner. Condemned prisoners aren't allowed visitors. Condemned? To death. He is to be executed. Knowing my luck, I will probably have to shoot him myself. Amnesty International is going to hear about this. I thought Miguel was arrested for playing the wrong kind of music. 
Si, senor, he was. And that carries the death penalty? No, no, no. You think we're crazy? While being questioned, he confessed to being an anti-government agent. Are there any ancient pyramids near Cuaramonte? Si, senor. But it's not very impressive. It's in ruins. That's perfect. Would you be willing to give a guided tour of the ruins? I can't. The general would have a fit if I left all this paperwork. I'm trying to get out of Cuaramonte. If I had a dollar for every time I heard that, I'd be able to buy back half my family. Never mind them. What about my visa? We don't take visa. I didn't ask if you take a visa. I want you to give me a visa. I can't help you, senor. I don't understand these things. Would you like a gourmet dog snack biscuit? I would love one, senor. But I would have a problem with my teeth. Toothache? No, senor. If the general catches me eating on duty, he'll knock them out. Fair enough. Do you recognize this statue? It is Catli Poker. The night wind. Take it away, senor. That stone is cursed. Don't they always call him something different, like the night wind, the... the hungry something? Do you know anything about this eclipse? No, senor. El General keeps me in the dark about ha, those things. In the dark. So long. Filing cabinet. This way we leave. The filing cabinet was probably locked. Yeah, probably. A filing cabinet stood in the corner. I wasn't going to try investigating the passage while the general was sat there. Okay, there's a lot we need to do. Let's get out of here. The question is, how do we do them? We need to speak with the prisoner. We need... To get to the mine. Why did you show him the stone? I thought maybe he might know something about it. Well, he does now, for sure. He knows we have it. Did you notice that chart on the police station wall? Yes. It looked like a map to me, but I couldn't make out the details. Whatever it was, the General didn't want us to see it. You came on a little strong with the General. I was merely flattering his ego, Georges. Every man has his Achilles heel. Maybe, but that guy's weakness isn't in his foot. That man we saw talking to the General was Ubié. Didn't you recognize him? I never met him, remember? The guy I called in Paris claimed to be Ubié, but he sounded nothing like the man in the police station. Maybe the professor really is innocent. Nah, it's too much of a coincidence that he's here in Cuaramonte. Okay, let's see if I can speak with the prisoner. Oh, there's... there's Ubié. There was a forlorn-looking guy asleep on the floor of the jail. It was Miguel, the pipe player. There was a forlorn... It was Miguel. Hey there, Ubié. Professor Ubié? Yes. Who are you? My name is Stobart. George Stobart. I have a lot of things to ask you about. Does the name Karzak mean anything to you? Yes, I know him. In fact, if it wasn't for Karzak, I wouldn't be here. What? He's financing my expedition. Tell me about your wife, Professor. Please, I... I don't want to talk about her. Maybe you don't, but I do. Why was she known as the Little Dachshund? It was just a silly pet name I used to call her. Somehow some damned reporter found out. Oh, I can't ask about if he shot her or not. What do you That's know a shame. about my girlfriend's abduction? I don't know what you're talking about. She was invited to your mansion in Paris. Not by me, she wasn't. I haven't been home for nearly seven months. Have you ever employed a Central American butler or servant? I've never employed any kind of servant, monsieur. Would you like a biscuit? No, thank you. You should, they're good. Mm. I can't get enough of these things. Uh, I'll ask him about the stone last, since it's probably Can you important. Identify this statue, Professor. Oh, yes. Tezcatlipoca, the Lord of Darkness. A Central American god, right? A supreme deity. 
Tezcatlipoca means literally smoking mirror. Oh. Then, you see the mirror shield in his left hand? The Mayans believed he could look into the mirror and see into the hearts of men. He was the wind which came howling in the night in search of victims. And victims they gave him by the thousand. Human sacrifices? Men, women, children, animals, anything that bled. The steps of his temple ran red with the blood of sacrifices. The Mayans have a legend that says he'll return one day. I hope I'm not around to see it. Okay, we finally know the meaning of the smoking mirror. And since he mentioned sacrifices, I'm pretty sure later in this game uh, probably Nika will be sacrificed or something and I have to save her, something like that. At least I'm... It's my, it's my prediction. Do you see this label? Yes. It refers to a company named Kondo. What of it? I traced that company here to Quaramonte. Do you know where I can find the offices of Condor Transglobal? The company no longer exists. They went bankrupt recently. I have proof that you are directly involved with Condor. I used them as shippers to transport artifacts to a gallery in Paris. Beyond that, I have no connection with the company, which, as I said, no longer exists. Do you know anything about this eclipse, Professor? Of course. It's not the reason I'm here in Cuaramonte, but I'm looking forward to seeing it all the same. Take a look at this, Professor. What have you got to say about that? Where did you get this? Never mind that. How do you explain these withdrawals? I left my financial affairs in the hands of my secretary. Including the withdrawal of funds in cash from your personal account? I trust Gwyneth implicitly. And why Marseille? Why the very place my girlfriend was taken? That's obvious, Stovart. We are both the victims of the same devious plot. Now what plot? I have no idea. Oh. What's your interest in the eclipse, Professor? Oh, it's purely a layman's curiosity. History is my subject, not astronomy. But I've been fascinated by the movements of the heavenly bodies since I was a child. I wouldn't miss a total eclipse for the world. Does the eclipse have some special significance for you? For me? No. For the ancient Mayans, it marks the end of the fifth age. Perhaps we should be celebrating. Ah, no. The end of each age heralds destruction on a global scale. The fifth is the final age. Ending in the total destruction of the Earth. Okay. Okay, stone. What do you know about this? Can you tell me anything about this stone? Where did you get that? That's my business. How much do you want for it? It's not for sale. That's it? I had nothing else to ask him just then. Really? He wouldn't have wanted that. Damn, I thought it was something important, but apparently he won't even tell me anything about it. Can I explain some more stuff? Do you think the general was involved with Condor? Hell no. And if he's a general, I'm a Buddhist. No, that fella's just a mouthpiece for the real power in Quaramonte. So the general is nothing but a puppet? He's like Pinocchio before he met the Blue Rinse Fairy. Strictly strings and wood. Who's pulling the strings? His mother. Better known as La Presidenta, the dictator. Interesting. Is she what they call the Nuestra Senora? Why don't you want the general at your party? Because if he comes, he'll bring those damned music albums from the 70s. Okay, not much here. Okay, we'll do one more round of speaking to people now that we've uh, been to the office and the police station. And then we will start um, trying to actually accomplish something. 
but that will have to wait until next time. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed another episode of Broken Sword 2, and I will see you all next time.